and I'm going to kind of tell some of the story, and the Hamill Choir is going to tell some of the story too. So you're going to get to see this all happen at once. Well, one day, long, long ago, God was looking down upon the earth, watching the men and women that God had created. And God saw that they had been doing very bad things. They were robbers, murderers, cheats, liars, gossips, selfish, and in general, not very nice folks. Well, the holy God saw that every thought of the human heart was continually evil. So with a mighty sigh of grief, God decided to wipe out the living things off the face of the earth. But then, God thought of Noah. Oh, how God loved Noah. Noah was a righteous man and walked with God in all of his ways. Well, God came down to Noah and said, Noah, I'm going to destroy all the living and breathing creatures upon the earth. And Noah said, which kind of translates roughly, will you repeat that please? So God said again, Noah said, which roughly translates, that's what I thought you said. <laughs> then God continued, yes, Noah, I will destroy the whole earth by bringing a great flood upon it. However, you and your wife and your three sons and their wives I will save them all. I will also save two of every kind of animal, bird, and creeping being that is upon the earth, male and female, and you are to gather them together. Now, I want you to build a boat. A very big boat. A very, very big boat. That's better. And put all the animals into it. Well, Noah was quite overwhelmed by all of this, as you can imagine. He looked up to God, spread out his hands, and said, roughly translates how. <laughs> so God gave to Noah all the instructions he needed to build the ark. And soon Noah and his three sons were busy hammering and sawing. Noah's wife and daughters-in-law helped too. They would go for wood and they would help take care of all the animals. And during all this time, Noah's neighbors laughed at him, and they went on in their wicked ways. Now after many years, the ark had finally finished, and the Lord God came to Noah and said, It's time. Then Noah, very calmly, and with a great deal of organization, went to get his family and the animals to bring them into the ark. Well, 
can you imagine the confusion? Of course, the hippos were probably first, and they were first in line and the very slowest. And then, of course, were the kangaroos who shook the ramp with their constant hopping. While the squirrels were chattering away and always getting out of line. And those crocodiles, well, they kept staring at the ostriches, which made them scream. were swinging all over the place. I've got a little friend. But finally, they all got into the ark and God shut the great door. Then it started to rain. It began with just a few sprinkles. And then it grew stronger. And then it began to pour. And it thundered. And lightning struck. and every living creature on the earth drowned. Except for Noah, his family, and the animals safe on the ark. dry up from the land. And in the meantime, there was plenty to do about aboard the ark. The animals had to be fed and watered and comforted when they were afraid. But at last, the ark came to rest upon the mountains of Ararat. When Noah was sure that the water had all dried up, the great door was opened, and out came all the animals, happy to be free to roam the earth once more. family built an altar and offered upon it a sacrifice of praise to God for deliverance. Then God set a rainbow in the sky as a symbol of the promise never to destroy the earth by the flood again. we see a rainbow, it should remind us of Noah, his obedience and faith in God. God keeps promises to Noah and to all of us who believe and trust in God. Let's give them a hand for this.